Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP ProBook 4530 model here. And in this video I'm going to take you over on how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the RAM or downgrade or replace the RAM. I'm going to show you a step by step how to do this. I made a video because people keep asking me on my RAM upgrades, what's the maximum RAM capacity, this and that that the website tells you one thing and the call center tells you another thing. I made a short video showing you guys how to know your maximum RAM capacity. I'll leave that link in my video description. It's one line, there's no application, you don't have to install it or anything. You plug that line in the command prompt and it will tell you your maximum RAM capacity. In this video, we're gonna cover up how you can open it up, how you can upgrade the RAM and what are the combination that you can have. All right. First thing first, you want to power it off completely. You want to flip it upside down. And on the bottom here, this one is missing a battery. You want to remove your battery by pulling these triggers towards each other and the battery will come out. Once you remove the battery, you want to grab yourself a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. And we're going to be using a Phillips number zero. And what you want to do in here, the only screw that we're going to remove is right over here on the bottom beside the battery jack. So go ahead and remove this screw right down there. Okay. Once the screw is removed, all you need to do is to pull these two triggers really hard towards each other and it will push the bottom cover towards the front end of the laptop. And next, all you need to do is to lift it up and bring it to a side. All right. And down here, you can see the RAM dims right over here accessible. There's no more cupboards or anything like that. These are the DDR3 RAMs and to remove the RAMs is very easy. All you need to do is to pull these tiny triggers beside each one of the dims away from each other. Let's say you want to remove the one on the bottom. You want to remove these two triggers, pull them away from each other. And the RAM should come out in 45 degree angle, just like that. And all you need to do is to grab it in the same 45 degree angle and pull it out in the same direction, like that. You don't want to yank it upward, otherwise you're going to break the RAM or crack the jack for the RAM dim. And this is a 4 gig DDR3, so you can grab another 4 gig, I would recommend, so you have a dual channel memory. You can put a 4 and 2, you still get a dual channel memory, but the recommended is to go 4 and 4, so you get 8 gig. If your capacity is a 16 gig, you can put an 8 gig on the bottom and 8 gig on the top. I'll leave the link for a, one of the compatible RAMs, so if you want to get one of those. To install the RAM, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the RAM dim, right there. If you try to put it that way around, it will simply not go through, because the notch will not allow that. So you want to make sure if the notch is matching, you want to bring it down in 45 degree towards the jack, and then push it towards the jack and then simply push it towards the motherboard and you will hear a soft triggers those clicks right there that means the jack is in uh, the ram is in place if you want to place one more ram on top let me grab one over here this is a two gig so make sure it doesn't matter which orientation the ram chips are so it can be RAM chips on the top or on the bottom, doesn't matter, as long as the notch matches. Bring it down in 45, all the way towards the jack, make sure it clicks in, right there. Sometimes it's kind of a little bit hard, but once it goes in 45, just push it softly towards the other RAM. And it will click in. Right, to remove, pull the triggers away, RAM will come out in 45, and then pull it out. There we go. Now, the tip. I'm going to give you a tip. Once you upgrade the RAM and you power on, it might take to 5 to 10 seconds for the BIOS to detect the RAMs. And after 10 seconds, if you don't get any uh, boot screen or anything, simply power it off and replace the, remove the old one, put it on the top, and the new one, put it on the bottom. And then power it on, wait 5 to 10 seconds, and you should get the boot screen. And after that, simply all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, put it in an offset position, and then it slides it towards the battery and it will click in. And the last thing would be to just grab the screw on the bottom and screw it down for the cover so the cover will not slide back down. And that's how fast you can upgrade your RAM for your HP ProBook 4530. 
I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in my video comment. I'll try to answer them. If you want to support the channel, you can click that like and subscribe. I'll really appreciate it. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.